Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video, something that I ordered from Painting with Diamonds. Uh, something that I really didn't think I was going to be ordering, but after doing diamond painting for five months, six months, um, I realised that I needed this. So, as you can probably tell by the size of it, it's not a diamond painting. So, uh, I'll just go ahead and open it. People can maybe try and guess what it is. Um, painting with Diamonds is a UK site. And it is run by Samantha, who actually makes a lot of the things herself. Uh, just try and figure out how it opens. So you can tell I haven't opened it. It's been sitting here for a while. I've been desperate to open it, but I wanted to wait and do it all on YouTube. So inside the box, if I can get it out, this is a tight fit. Oh, a nice piece of tissue paper. So you can see, painting with diamonds. Nice little label. Just take that off. And ruin the tissue paper. is what it is. It is a drill tray or boat as some people call it. Now the reason I got this is because up until now I've been using these which are pretty much standard. They come with the kits. Most of them are like this and I thought it was okay. It worked fine. Um, I used the Tic Tac boxes uh, if you've watched uh, previous videos, you might have seen it. And these work very well because this nozzle fits exactly in the top of a Tic Tac box, so I like that. The problem that I've got with them is if I accidentally hit the side, um, because they are angled like that. If I'm working, and I've done it so many times, um, I accidentally just nudge the thing, it flips and it takes nothing. Um, a lot of times I'm just moving my hand over, maybe even to get a cup of coffee, and I don't lift my hand high enough, and it just touches it and the thing flips over, and then I've got to spend another 10 minutes picking up all the diamonds that uh, inevitably land on the glue. So um, I sit with a pair of tweezers and pick them all back off. So I finally got sick of this, and I thought, I need something heavier. Uh, something that won't flip over. Uh, the other thing is these small ones, you can't get too many diamonds in here without them all piling up, which makes it harder to get them. So it means that you can't put a lot in here. Now, if you're working on a large section, like I was working on an 80 by 100 that had a lot of 310 uh, black, like a lot of black, uh, I couldn't put like a lot of black in here. I had to do it sort of small bits at a time. So I wanted a bigger tray so I can get more diamonds spread out. It saves me having to keep topping it up so much. But the main thing was to get rid of this problem where they flip over. I mean, they're very light. And I mean, I'm barely touching that and it's lifting up. So I've done it so many times. So I started looking for a bigger tray. And uh, I saw these. That, uh, that Sam makes. She actually makes them herself on a 3D printer. So um, I thought, yeah, this is more like it. So it's it's got square edges. It's a lot heavier, a lot bigger. And while I was at it, I decided to get a non-slip mat, obviously in matching colour. 
So this is just a mat that goes underneath and it stops the um, stops the tray sliding about. So I thought if I'm, I'm getting one thing, I may as well get the other. I can figure out how to open this one. Got it. So there's a, pa <laughs> a package in a package. Got the first one, the second one. Now, I've never used one of these before. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but it is actually sticky. I didn't realise it was uh, it was like that. I thought the dots were like just little uh, legs that sort of um, stopped it from sliding, but it is actually sticky, uh, as you can see. It's very sticky, actually. So when I plop that down in the table, it sticks to the table, and that is not... I am pushing really hard here. Um, that is not going to move. That is really cool, really cool. So, no more spell drills. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Um, if you're watching this, Sam, I told her I was going to do a little YouTube video. Um, that is really cool. That is not going to move. Very impressed. Um, she also mentioned, I, I think I was uh, in a Facebook group and somebody mentioned, we were talking about pink wax, um, again I'm going to do another YouTube video about all that stuff, but we were talking about pink wax and the alternatives and somebody mentioned blue wax and I think pretty much everybody thought they meant blue tack, like people, some people use blue tack. Um, but like I said, again, I'm, I'm going to do a video specifically about wax, but um, in that conversation, um, Sam actually joined in and she said, she mentioned, have you tried blue wax? And I thought she meant blue tack. Uh, and I said, like, do you mean blue tack? And she said, no, blue wax. And I said, I've never heard of blue wax. And she said, okay, I'll send you a sample um, with your order. So this is it. This is the first time that I've seen blue wax so I'll be doing a little test of this stuff to see how it compares with pink is it just it's a different color or is it any better so I'll be trying that out uh, in a future video it could be quite interesting so thanks for that Sam and we've got uh, a little leaflet as well so handmade diamond printing products Pens and tools, drill pen tips, pen heads, replacement covers, diamond painting trays, sticky mats, blue wax, storage. But there is actually a new thing that just came out. And I need to show you on the website because it isn't mentioned in there. So move that. And it doesn't leave any sticky residue. So really impressed with, with that I've never uh, never tried anything like that before it wasn't what I expected a lot more secure so anyway um, this is Sam's website paintingwithdiamonds.co.uk and you can buy various things here now I have to say I am not affiliated with Sam at all um, I, I paid for everything uh, totally happy with what I got but all I'm doing is uh, showing people options of where to buy stuff really. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people tend to buy from Wish and uh, that sort of thing. I like the idea of buying from someone who makes the stuff, uh, someone who's got their own little business going to try and provide things um, for people in the diamond painting community. I like the idea that it's not just buying stuff as cheap as you can get it from places like Wish, um, you're actually buying from someone who probably cares a bit more about their products and tries a bit harder. Um, so 
I found Sam to be really friendly and helpful when I was getting in touch with her about the order. So, um, yeah, it's just, um, I'm going to start looking for other, like, small setups where people sort of got home businesses. I like the idea of uh, trying to help support them. The things, I mean, I haven't compared prices, but the things may be slightly more expensive compared to Wish, but I, I just like the fact that um, it's somebody else who's passionate about diamond painting, and I like to encourage that. So um, I'm probably going to start looking for other places as well, small sort of home run businesses. That that thing really appeals to me. I like to try and help that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, the new product is pen stands. She is now making uh, pen stands, which look pretty cool. So it's the first time I've actually l looked in here. Uh, oh yeah, I, th I thought that would give a bigger picture. So you can set your, your fancy pen if you've got one um, up on this nice little stand. It's pretty cool. Um, I just thought I'd mention it because it's something new. Obviously you don't need it. This is one of these, um, not needs but wants. So uh, she, she makes other stuff as well and she was saying that the stuff that she doesn't make, she tries to source it from other small businesses. So sh she's also trying to help um, promote the small companies. So. Um, I think that's really cool. Um, I think you've got to be brave to, to do that. So you get the pen stand, you can have it as a single pen, three pens or five pens, uh, depending on how many pens you've got. But I think it's just a, it's a nice way to display pens if you've got some fancy stuff. Nice and uh, neat, easily accessible. And then she's got various stuff on here. And you can read a little bit about her, have a look through, see what she's got. So, nice little website, a uh, little piece here about her. So, that's, that's it, I think. Uh, just really wanted to do the uh, tray. That is really stuck. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. So I'll be using this in the project that I'm about to start. I've got a um, relatively cheap, small diamond painting that I bought from Wish. Um, purely because I'm curious to see what you get for your money and what problems you might get buying cheaper stuff. Uh, the one that I got is absolutely riddled with air bubbles, or rivers as people call them. Um, it's the worst one I've ever seen. So um, I'm going to be working on that one and doing it as a project on YouTube from the very beginning. I've already done the unboxing for it and talking and another one talking about the prepping. Um, the next video I'm actually going to start working on it and explaining the way that I work them and why I do them the way that I do them. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in diamond painting, please subscribe and give me a follow. Um, I'm pretty new to all of this. So it would be pretty cool to get up to the magic 100. I think I need 100 subscribers so I can change the the address for this to something sensible instead of just a mixture of numbers and letters. So um, it would be very much appreciated if you uh, clicked that button and uh, subscribed. I would definitely appreciate that. And if you've enjoyed the video or any of the other ones, please feel free to get in touch. And if you've got any ideas of stuff that you might want to see uh, related to diamond painting, um, give me a shout and I'll see what I can do. So thanks again, take care, be safe, and wash your hands. Bye for now.